Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedia. Today we're going to be demonstrating the last group of new features included in Studio One 5.1. I believe these features that we're going to be showing today are going to be really useful if you're mixing or editing. Okay, so the first one. The first one is related to the gain envelopes of tracks. Okay, here we have an audio track. It's labeled as music, and it's basically a mix of a song um that I believe when when you know when the whole band comes in I think it's a little too loud and I wish to play with that using the envelope the gun, the gain envelope let's just press play so that you have an idea of what's going on okay so basically after that drum feel I think it's a little too loud you can actually see it on the waveform I wish that was that could be fixed well it actually can okay you can use your clip gain envelope um, to fix that. Sorry, your gain envelope. So how do you do that? Well, you can uh, click on the event, then you can, well, you click on it to highlight it, to select it, then you right click, and then you click on gain envelope, you check that function, and as soon as you do that, you see this line here. It's like a light blue line right in the middle. That's your gain envelope, okay? Uh, your gain envelope lets you gain either up or down, so you can either boost or reduce the gain of the actual event before it hits the very first insert. So if I wanted to make that lower, if I wanted to make the, the gain lower when the band starts, I could create a gain envelope point there another one a little before and then drag this one down as you can see when I drag it down the waveform actually changes right I'm gonna make it obvious okay let's do like like that like minus 10 dBs if I press play yeah it's definitely softer now I could also gain it up you know do something like that and then back down. You can do really anything as far as your gain envelope, right? Like, you see it goes up and then it goes down pretty fast, okay? Uh, this is not necessarily the gain envelope that I would use, but I'm just trying to demonstrate that you can do that. Now, what's the cool thing about this that's included in 5.1? Well, you can now bypass this envelope. Why do you want to bypass it? Well, because if for some reason you want to know how it sounded before, back in the day you had to literally remove all of these dots. So all the job you did, all the time you took to um, play with the envelope, you would lose it. So if now you can bypass it momentarily simply by right-clicking on it, and then here's this bypass button. As soon as you click it, check the waveform. The waveform goes back to the way it was, right? You see, it goes back to the way it was, but... The actual envelope is there. It's kind of like grayed out, but you can see there, right? So that way you can bypass it momentarily, listen to what's going on, and then turn it back on. So that's really cool right there. Now, um, another feature that I think is really important when you're mixing, uh, let's go to our console. It's the fact that now you can copy a complete insert chain from one track to another one. Let's demonstrate that. Well, we have here a Guitar One track that has an Empire plugin or insert. It has a compressor and it has a Pro EQ um, as, the, as the last insert. It's an equalizer. Now let's say that I want to have these inserts exactly the same, in the same position with the same configurations in our Guitar Two track. Well, check this out. You can literally now click on inserts, drag, click, drag, and drop into Guitar 2, and then boom. The same inserts, the same configurations, everything literally copied and pasted in one second. Let's do it again. Let's do it one more time. Click, drag, drop. Boom. Just like that. So that's really useful when you're mixing, right? Now, when you're editing, uh, there's another cool feature, and I'm going to show that here. Let's go ahead and double-click on our music track here on the on the actual audio event. 
so we can see the edit view. You can see up here we have our um, typical or I guess our default timeline which shows you know bars and beats but you can now see the other rulers if you go here in global track visibility you could see our signature ruler or signature timeline our chords timeline our ranger and our markers timeline which back in the day you couldn't I mean you know you can see them here on the actual timeline but now you can also see them on your edit view so those are the new features included in Studio One to 5.1. I hope you found this really helpful. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs, and we're going to be happy to help you. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this, or using that, or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.